In this tutorial, I'll show you the main part of the tool that contains feed, filters, and folders. So we can start with the left side where we have our folders. Folders are a great way to organize your queries. For example, if you track your competitors, you can create a competitors folder. If you track some information about your product, you can do a products folder, etc. If you want to create a new folder, you can click here. You can enter your folder name or choose one from the list. So I'll choose, let's say customers and click on create. You can also share your folders with your colleagues. So you can click here and click on sharing options. You'll see that there are two types of folders in Deter. So organization folders are visible to everyone in your organization and team folders are visible only to people you share them with. So you can invite colleagues to your organization and then share the folder with them. Then you can click on save. And this is all for folders. Let's move on to the feed part. So in feed, you can see all of your mentions in one place. The great thing is that you can also see some additional information about your mentions. For example, here in this part, you can see the author of a mention. You can see the location where the mention came from, as well as date and time. Below, you can see the views, comments, likes, and dislikes when it comes to YouTube video. And when it comes to mentions from social media or websites, you can see reach, interactions, engagement, influence, and virality. In the right side of the mention, you can see these two icons. So this one is to delete your mention if you do not want it in your feed. And this one represents sentiment of your mention. So this mention is positive and you can also change the sentiment if you don't agree with it. So for example, let's say this one is negative and then you'll see the sentiment will change immediately. You can also select various mentions and then you can save them as a collection or export them in one of our formats. You can also change the group sentiment of those mentions and you can also tag those mentions. Tagging is excellent for reporting later on and you can check out our video on tags. It's really useful. And you can also delete mentions in bulk. So let's unselect those mentions and let's go to filters. So filters are a great way to just focus on the information you need. So for example, you can select date range. You can choose between the predefined ones, or you can select some custom, uh, custom schedule that you prefer. So in this case, I'll select that. I only want to see mentions from this month in my feed. Next are sources. So if you have mentions from multiple sources and you only want to focus on, let's say some of them. So you can click here and then you can choose, let's say we want to see mentions from websites and Twitter only. You can also filter your mentions by sentiment. So for example, if you only want to see positive sentiment, you can click here and you'll only see positive mentions in your feed. You can also click here to show images if some mentions contain them. And you can also find tags in your feed. There are some additional filters like Influence Core. And you can also focus your mentions on a specific location or specific languages that you are interested in. And you can also filter your feed by reach, virality, influencers and authors.